end this video we open a new chapter on fields and we begin with the definition of a field a commutative ring so a ring under this operation addition and multiplication where multiplication is commutative a commutative ring with unity so there is a ID for this operation a commutative ring with unity is called a field if every non-zero element is a unit to be a unit or to be invertible so every single element has an inverse okay um, we can think of this as a times inverse okay so this will be a dividing b okay so for every single element there, there will be an inverse element meaning you will get the identity okay okay um, so a field is a algebraic system that is closed under addition subtraction of course multiplication and division um, but of course there are no zero divisors and of course you cannot divide by zero so we have um, lots of uh, fields the complex numbers the real numbers the rational numbers all these are fields okay all this theory of this abstract theory on fields um, was initiated by this Heinrich Weber from 1893 so we get into the next theorem that says finite integral domains are fields uh, don't forget that uh, an integral domain is a commutative ring with a unity so that is said to be a integral domain if it has no zero divisors okay so if integral domains are finite then they are fields and we get a quick proof for this okay so we have a finite integral domain with unity 1 and let a a non-zero be an element and a finite uh, integral domain okay so for the finite integral domain to be a field we have to show we have to show that a is invertible right or a is a unit we have to show that a is a unit okay first case if a equals the identity well 1 times 1 equals 1 so a would be its own inverse okay so that will be checked okay and proved okay now if a is not the unit okay if a is not a unit we consider a sequence of elements in the integral domain as a a squared a cube etc okay but do not forget one thing 
d, the integral domain, is by hypothesis finite, right? So this list will be a finite list, okay? So there must be two positive integers, sum of the a's, let us say here we are at a7, sum of the a's will have to equal, okay? So a to the power of i will be equal to a to the power of j at a certain point. Um, okay, so i will be this one, for instance, and j this one. So i will be greater than j. Okay, so there must be two positive integers, i and j, such that i to the power of a to the power of i equals a to the power of j. Okay, here we use cancellation and we get a to the power of i minus j. Do not forget this is an integral domain, so you can use cancellation. You will get 1 for sure. Okay, right. But do not forget that a by hypothesis, a is not the identity. So, since a is not the identity, i minus j cannot be 1. So, i minus j will be strictly greater than 1. Strictly greater. Let me emphasize. Okay. So, um, okay. So, we will get an element a to the power of i minus j. So, this will be a to the power of 1 minus 1, right? And this one will be the the inverse of a of this element okay so a to the power of i minus j minus 1 will be the inverse of a so a is a unit okay because if you multiply those two right you'll get the identity right okay and this concludes the proof, because if um, we prove that A is a unit, so any arbitrary element in the finite integral domain is a unit, and since um, all elements in the finite integral domain are units, well, that's the definition of a field, okay, an inter integral domain. Uh, a field is a commutative ring with unity, so a finite uh, an integral domain is also a commutative ring with unity, okay, where every non-zero element is a unit. So if all elements, we just prove that all elements in a finite integral domain will have unit, will, will be units. And since that is true, that means that the finite integral domain is a field. And that concludes the proof. And I leave you now here a very important corollary. I'm not going to prove it. I can leave it as homework, so to speak. Um, if you have any problem with this, just let me know. I can do a video with the proof. This is really easy proof. Um, the only way I I, uh, I prove it use it using uh, Euclid's lemma. So the corollary says the the ring of prime integers, the ring of prime integers is a field. So for every prime p, z p, the ring of integers module p, is a field. You can do this. It's a uh, very easy proof. So now we are going to show a field with nine elements. I will quick, quickly speak about finite fields. So that will be integers module three, 
this ring. So this is a, you can check that this is a field, a plus bi such that ab is in the integers module 3. Okay, so this will be the set of elements 0, 1, 2, i, 1 plus i, and you can check this, this is not hard to check, 2i, okay, 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 so this, this is a field, um, module 3, right, this is the set, and I'm going to show you the table uh, for this field. Okay. So, here you have the elements 1, 2, i, 1 minus i, 2 plus i, 2, i, etc. Here, 2, the same. And so 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times i, 1. This is the identity, so 2, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, module uh, 3, you get 1, 2 times 2i, you get i, 2 times 2i is 4i, module 3 is 1i, here you are. Okay, so as you can see, there are also finite fields, and here you have a finite field with nine elements. Okay, here we have another quick example uh, in the rationals with this in, this in square root 2, so a plus b square root 2, such that a and b is in the rational numbers. It's easy to see that this is a ring and to show that this is a field we must show an inverse for every non-zero element in order to be a field. So what, how can we do this? Well, just check that a plus b square root 2 times, just do that um, a minus 2 b squared, right? This is a squared. Okay. Um, minus, so a uh, multiplies this one. Um, wait a sec. We have to do this. A and this one is b, right? So this will be minus uh, b over 2, b squared root 2, sorry, a squared minus 2 b squared, right? Um, so this would be, you can check, this would be 1. Um, square root of 2 is an irrational number, so a squared minus 2 b squared equals 0, only when those two are 0, only if a and b are 0, right, you can check that, okay. So all elements are units, they all have an inverse, so this um, ring is also a field. So this is another example of a field.